Yeah, good morning, my fellow revolutionists. It's a beautiful Saturday morning, and I believe it's the ninth day of June in the year 2007. And uh, I'm very fortunate to be by myself at the sanctuary, 100 acres of absolute serenity. I've just gone for a run after waking up in my uh, beautiful swag last night. It got to about zero degrees. So with two sleeping bags, a very uh, warm beanie, and uh, lots of great dreams that turned out a treat. Uh, of course, today being a Saturday, Danny Boy and Benny are over at uh, St Johnny's looking after the ambulance for the day. It's a pretty big weekend. There's a big motorcycle event on this weekend uh, in Central Australia known as the Think Desert Race. Uh, over 450 or so competitors who will be uh, travelling uh, nearly 400 and something kilometres down towards Fink and back. Uh, leaving of course on Sunday and getting back on Monday so uh, there'll be uh, lots of stacks and lots of injuries as a result of that one. Uh, I'm just walking past our, uh, the Sanctuary's Renewable Energy Centre. Uh, just behind me there of course is our solar energy shelter. We've got our water catchment over here and a beautiful array of pumpkin growing out of our water catchment area which is always a treat. We'll be having some of that later. Just behind me over here is the infrastructure for the Dome Village. And that's looking pretty good today. We've uh, got the orders in now for the uh, sandbagging and, uh, and the final, uh, the additives for the uh, turning these half domes into full spe spheres, which should be pretty good in the next coming months. Um, I'm going to join you in a few minutes anyway. I'm about to take a shower. I'm completely nude at the moment because uh, it's nice to get the whole body exposed to these uh, beautiful winter sun rays. So uh, I can't show you any more than that apart from my arse, of course. There you go. So I'm going to see you inside the uh, homestead in a few moments and uh, we'll check out the news for today being Saturday the 9th and uh, we'll catch you in a few moments. But today looks absolutely beautiful, so join you in a second. Uh, welcome to the Galactic Federation News Desk and here we are for the 9th day of June 2007. A big hello to all the all-stars around the world. Um, firstly, uh, well done to Mum who's currently in Melbourne catching up with the Dalai Lama and um, she's spending the next five days uh, attending seminars and catching up with the, uh, the all-star of the Buddhist team, the Buddhist team. Um, unfortunately for the Australian government who's a little bit tentative, a little bit sensitive uh, in relation to catching up with uh, the Dalai Lama, uh, they are of course of the invertebrate kind, the jellyfish, the jellyfish and uh, the Australian government still in desperate need of the spinal donors uh, so good uh, and well done to mum on that one dad on the other hand is down in Mount Martha on the rebuilding project uh, for the uh, base down there doing an exceptional job we'll be catching up with him later on and seeing how he's doing um, in terms of news from around the world um, let's bring up some uh, reports that came in one of the most obvious ones that we've seen in the last few days was uh, off the coast of New South Wales and uh, they've reported some pretty serious turbulent weather that's affected some of the big boats coming down on the east coast of Australia. Um, we'll go straight to that story now. Um, as it says, huge seas have beached a 40,000 tonne coal ship off the New South Wales coast today, sparking a major rescue operation in which 22 crew members airlifted off the stricken vessel in gale force winds. Two other bulk carriers issued distress calls as 10 metre waves dragged them towards the coast. Officials said their anchors were holding, although uh, one was only one kilometre off the shore. Um, pretty serious winds going on there. It was only a few months ago that we had report of uh, uh, large numbers of broken icebergs drifting up to the southern parts of New Zealand. Um, this is, of course, approaching June 21st, the uh, winter solstice for the southern hemisphere and indeed the uh, summer solstice for the north. Um, pretty extreme weather. We've just heard that the month of May was one of the hottest on record for Victoria. Uh, we're also hearing more news from the United States um, that water reserves are down as low as 10% and 15% in areas like Arizona. Um, still for New South Wales and Victoria, they're on uh, dismal levels. Um, so again, climate change and lack of human imagination and intelligence seems to be uh, running its rightful course. Um, there was a cyclone in Gonu which was downgraded um, that got pretty fierce over the last few days. Um, further news also goes into parts of Russia, Vietnam and Canada where extreme weather reports have been, uh, uh, have been noted. Um, in particular, 
Um, one was for South Africa, the first of, of which will go to Canada. Flood waters in the northwestern British Columbia that shut down key roads could have many people cut off from the rest of the province for up to five or more days. Uh, flood threats have eased in the Fraser Valley east of Vancouver. Uh, main rail lines and major highways through the north have been washed out, cutting off Terrace, uh, Prince Rupert, uh, Kitty Mutt, and a number of smaller communities such as Telegraph Creek and uh, two Nisgars communities. Um, that's for Canada. Um, further up here from midnight to the afternoon of Wednesday the 6th of June in Johannesburg, um, they experienced the wettest winter days in 44 years. Um, that's a record of 25 millimetres of rain um, and the last obviously report of that sort of amount of rain was in 1963. Um, moving on for that we had some earthquake news from Earth Changes TV which we'll bring up and um, that also reported a 6.1 on the Richter scale um, for Papua New Guinea. Um, here's just some of the, the weather patterns for this particular day. Uh, looking again at the east coast of Australia, um, see some pretty turbulent um, and fairly severe wind systems building up on the east coast there as well as in the south. Um, the rate of uh, polar ice cap melt, um, as we know every single day, 200,000 acres of rainforest have been taken off the planet, 13 million tonnes of toxic chemical waste has been released into the atmosphere while another 70 million tonnes of CO2 emissions enters the atmosphere. Um, another 81 million barrels of oil is extinguished on the earth every day to keep up with our industry demands. Um, so it's getting a little bit hardcore. Um, earth Changes TV, the 6.1 uh, earthquake uh, in Papua New Guinea. Um, it's a very seismically active area. Uh, we can bring up the earthquake charts for you, as we see here. And this shows a fairly, fairly busy uh, last week in the earthquake front. Um, if we have a look here across the east coast of Australia, north of New Zealand, um, we see on average um, anywhere of five plus on the Richter scale coming up through the main seismic area there of Fiji and up around uh, Papua New Guinea parts of Malaysia heading north up towards the southern parts of Japan and of course the east coast of China. Um, very seismically active area. Um, this is indicative of a lot of stress. Um, some reports do suggest the correlation between ice melt from the Arctics and the rate of ice melt placing uh, increasing weight on the tectonic plates around the earth um, and naturally um, causing more stress around these uh, where the plates collide, the subduction zones here. So that's, uh, that's room to, uh, for uh, concern. Um, and as you can see from this map, there's an enormous number of small quakes which are ricocheting right around that, um, that large Pacific plate there. So that's all action, Jackson. Um, moving on from that, guys, as of uh, Galactic Federation, today I'll be working on uh, the GF2 series, in particular the film clip for One World, One People. And uh, based on that, we'll be uh, getting uh, some great imagery uh, from around the world of all the superstars who have come together in the fight for uh, the brothers and sisters of this planet who uh, believe we are one world, one people. Um, further to that GF2 episode, we'll be also looking at the uh, laws of negligence, uh, duty of care in relation to our governments and world scientists reports which were released in uh, 1992, 2003 um, also some additional reports by the World Bank. Um, further to that, we'll look at the world religions and in particular the Golden Rule and uh, look at the correlation between all world religions that do indeed make them very similar despite the hardships that have occurred between them. Um, and finally, on that note, uh, we'll look at universal law. That's my job for the day. We've also, in the next coming months, got some projects um, which will be uh, uh, going right off, in particular the Dome Village, and we've got some orders for the sandbags and the additional infrastructure there to uh, have a big, beautiful year of 2007 where we can hopefully see the completion of um, the prototype for Earth Bank and Dome Village. So I'm going to get out of here. You guys have been sensational. Keep smiling, keep rattling all the cages, and um, we'll see you in just